Konami is reprinting Legend of Blue Eyes. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and unfortunately yesterday when this news dropped, I was out of town, so I had to wait till today to record the video. So unfortunately, we're a little bit late, but I know a lot of you guys have not heard about this. Konami has officially announced a new reprint of Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh's Servant, and Invasion of Chaos. But it's not just a straight up legendary game board reprint. It's a little bit different. It's kind of exciting. So let's check this out. If you guys have not seen this yet, let's go through this and talk about it a little bit. All right, here we have it. Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition. Okay, we've seen some anniversary editions before. I personally have some experience with them. Sometimes they don't go over that well, but let's see how Konami did with it. Collector set. Ooh, cool. That's us, collectors. Product type, collector set. Official tournament store launch date, 4-19-2023. Okay, here's the thing. This is normally when Ghost from the Past comes out or something like that. Is that going to be our Ghost from the Past slot or is there going to be no Ghost from the Past? That would be unfortunate, but it kind of feels like this might be replacing that. So I hope that doesn't happen. I hope we still have a Ghost from the Past because I, of course, love Ghost from the Past. But either way, this should be cool. Uh, launch date, 421-2023. They didn't do it on 420. Konami tournament legal date. It's already legal because these are all reprints, of course. MSRP, $31.99 per set. So let's see, what do you get in a set? One of the most storied Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game items returns for the 25th anniversary of the card game, except for it's a little different. Very first Legendary Collection is reborn as Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. So first of all, we have Legendary Collection Binder Edition, which came out in 2010. It's right here if you guys don't remember what it looks like. Then 2013, they made the Legendary Collection Game Board, which was the same thing. It was just a game board with like a mat instead of like the binder that opened up. And then they reprinted that in 2017. So we've had many Legendary Collections, and now they're reprinting it again six years later. But this time, of course, it's slightly different. 2013 to 2017, they were basically the exact same, but this time they've changed it up. It contains six booster packs and six ultra cards. Okay, six packs. I thought it wasn't. Okay, we're going to check and see what this is. Oh, it still has Dark Crisis. For some reason, I thought they didn't have Dark Crisis. So it is basically a reprint, the same as before. It also includes highly requested sought after Egyptian God card promos. Yes, those have been in before. And the 25th anniversary edition will include a seventh bonus card. So you're like three God cards. There's usually a red eyes, blue eyes, Dark Magician in there. There's a seventh card now. The seventh card will offer duelist a sneak peek at a brand new rarity created just for the 25th anniversary celebrations. The quarter century secret rare. So it seems like the packs are gonna be the same, but this is gonna be different. There's gonna be a seventh promo card. So I guess those won't be in the packs, they will be in like the promo pack. Each legendary collection will include one random quarter century secret rare version of one of the six special variant cards. So six different ones. Okay, not too many there. A taste of what's to come. So it seems like maybe there's more of those coming? That sounds exciting. The 25th anniversary contains Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Dark Crisis, Evasion of Chaos, then it has Obelisk, Slifer, Wing Dragon, Raw, Blue Eyes, Red Dragon, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes, Black Dragon. So this is basically just a reprint of the original Legendary Collection, except I do believe they have the 25th anniversary on the pack artwork. So as you guys can see in this picture, it says 25th anniversary in the top corner. I think the packs are going to have that on there as well. So you'll be able to differentiate these from 2017 packs really easily because obviously there's a 25th anniversary thing on there. So it's pretty obvious. Also, there is some scuttlebutt. There's some whispers out there that these are going to be available in booster boxes as well. If you guys remember several months ago, I made a video saying that Konami is going to reprint Legend of Blue Eyes booster boxes. At the time, we thought it was going to happen because of this giveaway they were doing and they had some extra Legend of Blue Eyes boxes, but now it seems like we were right. I don't know if it was because of that giveaway that like, they already had these ready, but our hypothesis from that video was correct because they are actually going to be reprinting boxes. If you check some websites of people that are selling early, they are selling full booster boxes of these. Now, what I'm wondering is if we'll be able to buy full cases. Like, imagine being able to buy a full case of reprint Legend of blue eyes how fun would that be to rip open like you pay 600 bucks and you get to open up original legend of blue eyes it should be really fun if that happens but there's gonna be a lot of these sets out there if you thought there was a lot of reprints out there already these unlimited cards are gonna be everywhere so the price of these are probably not gonna be that high in terms of the singles but this is purely a nostalgia play. They're selling these for basically what they sold before. I think the last time they released Legendary Collection, they were, they might've been 35 actually. It was a 30 or 35. So they've either slightly increased or slightly decreased the price. More likely they increased it, but honestly not a bad price, $32 per set. I know it's like, wow, that's a lot per pack, but that's how it's always been. Pretty exciting because we're gonna be able to open up a lot of this on the channel. People who don't have access to the older packs will be able to open this up much more easily. Just go to Walmart, pick one up, stuff like that. This actually helped me get back into the game as well. I bought a lot of Legendary Collection game boards back in 2018 when I was getting back into it, just a year after they had done the reprint. And 
honestly, I don't think there's a lot of negative to continuing to reprint. Like, people say that's a bad thing for Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, they always reprint their cards and stuff like that, but when it comes to the old nostalgia plays, like, if you just want to open some old packs, so this is what these reprints are for, to be ripped open. And that's why people open Korean so much, because they're affordable, they're easy, and they have the nostalgia. This time, it'll be in English, it'll be affordable, pretty much anyone can afford to buy a pack. You should be able to buy individual packs as well, I assume you will. They're going to be in official tournament stores because I don't think they did. Did they do legendary collections in the tournament stores before? I'm not sure if they did. Maybe they did, but this time they'll have like single booster boxes instead of having to buy the whole legendary collection. You might just want Invasion of Chaos. You don't want Dark Crisis. So you can buy whatever you want. I'm actually super excited about this and the 25th anniversary rarity seems pretty cool and pretty unique. So, and they said like, what'd they say? Give a taste of what's to come. So I guess that's going to be happening more. We're going to have more 25th anniversary cards. Sounds pretty cool. I hear the rarity is really, really nice. So I'm really excited to check it out. I do want to go back and talk a little bit about my worries that this is replacing Ghosts from the Past. Let me know in the comments how you feel about that. Do you think that that's going to be a little iffy that we're going to replace Ghosts from the Past? Are you sad about that and that we're not going to have Ghost shares? I assume that means we're not going to have a Ghost from the Past set because this is like the same weekend that they normally do it. It was in March. They've kind of moved it to April the last couple of years for that specific reprint set, but then we miss out on a whole reprint set. So I don't think that'll happen because then how do we cut out an entire reprint set? and like completely miss it. So maybe we'll have like ghosts from the past, like around the same time as this. Can you imagine the weekend we're gonna have opening up live stream? Make sure you guys are here for that because we're opening a ton of Legend of Blue Eyes. We're opening ghosts from the past three. That's like the, the week before that, which has not been confirmed by the way. So we don't even know what's gonna happen, but could be an insane month in April. I'm extremely excited that they're doing this. I mean, I expected it to be honest because they've reprinted all these sets a million times at this point, but it's always fun to open these up. And the 25th anniversary rarity is gonna be pretty fun. I wonder if they'll throw anything in the packs. Maybe they'll throw in like a 25th anniversary card inside one of the packs. That'd be pretty cool. I doubt it, but that would be really nice. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up. Let me know if you're excited about Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoutouts to Tone Fosho, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Ananda Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.